Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. We are following up with Tacomo irons. We previously did their 101 model. Yep. Liked it, thought it was a good deal. They have come out just about a month ago with a new 201 model, more of a cavity back design. The previous one was a pocket cavity, a little bit probably in the uh, game improvement um, section. This one may be a little bit more of a player's iron, at least according to the website. They did leave us a little note when they, um, when they sent these tools to say they have another version coming. Uh, that is a little bit less offset. Okay. Um, so maybe, a, you know, kind of similar design, but they'll, they'll take a few of the features in this one and, and maybe just kind of subtly adjust them to the player's eye. Did you notice a little bit of extra offset for your eye that you would prefer to see that pushed uh, a little bit kind of to the straighter side? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the, the kind of dimensions of it, uh, I think if you, if you look at player's cavity, I use a player's cavity, right? You do. The, the uh, Mura TC201. This is quite different from that. I mean, the, the yeah. thickness of the top line and, you know, they, they, they make uh, no attempt to hide that. You know, no. you see some of the companies who angle that top line in order to try and hide a little bit of it. You know, this is, this is a generous, oversized uh, cavity back iron. So maybe to give the player that wants to play the cavity back versus like the super game improvement iron, they still have that forgiveness in there and maybe just the visual confidence of seeing a thicker top line because some players will see a thin one and go, yeah. oh. That's not for me. That looks like work. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. As, as a progression away from the 101, it is, it is moving in that direction. And, you know, and as they expand in the line, I think we'll start to see where the 201 makes sense. Definitely. Down the line. Definitely. So a little bit more premium features in this one, it looks like you got the milling on the back. Yeah. We've got kind of that undercut cavity, which they're saying helps you get the center of gravity a bit lower. You were mentioning for a lot of irons in this space, that's more of a face flex thing. So we'll see if that helps get a little bit more ball speed off of uh, the face. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely, I'm, I'm glad they've said that because, yeah. you know, if the claim was that the undercut is going to help enhance ball speed and things like that, well, it's not really deep enough to do that. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't go into the head in the right areas and uh, move towards the face in the way you would want it to, to do that. So will it help with lowering the CG? Of course, yeah, yes. definitely removing mass higher up will do that. So. Um, you know, fair play to them for, for that. And we're going to see how well it works anyway. Um, I think it's pretty similar in their offerings to what we saw with the 101. It's KBS brand shafts. Yeah. You can have pretty much any of the C-Taper models. You've got uh, the C-Taper Light 115X, mm -hmm. which should be actually a pretty good fit for you. Absolutely. One shaft that you like. Yeah. On the strong side, but nothing crazy. So 44 degree pitching wedge. I would say it places it firmly kind of in game improvement lofts. Yeah. Um, so that's maybe the interesting part of it. It's, it is more of a player's look yeah. with a little bit more of a game improvement loft progression. So it helps someone get the distance that they may want, but not as much of a big kind of forgiving iron. Definitely. Okay, well, let's take a look at the pitching wedge first. All right. So 44 degree pitching wedge, we've set you at 140 yards. It's gonna be very tidy. Great result. How'd you hit that? Thin. Interesting. Yeah, quite thin, but <clears throat> maintained the ball speed. Yeah. And you got almost all the carry. You'd have yourself a little 12 footer. That's a nice one. Should, Should get, get to pin the high number. there, I think. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it kind of looks like you're having an easy, smooth time of getting 141 yards of carry there. Very easy. Yeah, so the averages with the pitching wedge, everything looked quite good. Good kind of on the lower end launch angle. It's yep. probably about what you'd want to launch it. Mm -hmm. Spins relatively high, but not crazy. And you're getting a very easy 141 average carry out of it. Very comfortable. Pretty functional wedge flying about 105 feet on average. Yeah, I think it's, you know, for the player it's going to be aimed at, it's probably exactly what you would want. It's a little bit stronger. It still feels quite good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, retains it retains some decent amount of spin. Definitely, uh, we're not using a low spin ball, a high spin ball by any means. Here, we're using the the uh, ZX, the Strix and uh, sorry, uh, Strix and XV here, um, which is one of the lower spin balls you and I do test. So that's good to see. So you can maybe get a bit of ball speed from the head itself, but it's not going to drop the spin so much that it gets out of control. Yeah, nice. All right, well, let's take a look at the seven iron. Nice swing there. Yeah, that one felt quite nice. 180, normalized on the fly. Just tugged it a little yeah, bit. Just on the edge there. 
Yeah, again, I think 182 is probably more than, you wouldn't be pulling 7 iron from 182 that often with your set of irons, is that fair to say? 75 probably, right. Uh, you know, right now I'm missing my own 7. So to get a nice 6, 7 yards out of that and your tempo and everything looks very controlled, you look like you're swinging at it quite smoothly. Yeah. That's, I think that's again what people are looking for and you've retained, people might look at 58, 85 spin and say that's low, but again, with a low spin golf ball and a strong loft, that's actually quite a lot of spin. It's a great strike there. Yeah, it's just, to be honest, it's exactly the same yeah, as the Yeah, almost one. the same shot. Great. Yeah, really good. Even a little bit in the heel, not by much. Almost the same amount of spin. Mm -hmm. Almost the same ball speed. Similar launch. Flew the exact same height in the air and came down the same angle. That's great. It's a nice iron, Matt. I can't, I can't say anything about it. I mean, to be honest, like, when you first look at it in, in the, the top line and, and is it being a bit thicker and stuff, to be honest, it goes away. Yeah. It really goes away quite fast. you get confidence from your first few swings and you go, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a great point. It doesn't really become much of a factor after a couple of shots. And, you know, I think I think looks, you know, that, that, that look is something probably that people do get used to very quickly. I think um, you've, you've nailed it. With the, It's very subjective. If you're performing well with something, yeah. You're going to sort of fall in love with the look in reverse order, That's whereas right. you might look at something and go, "I love how that looks." Hit a bunch of shots, clank half of them, and yeah. go, "Oh." <laughs> I know. You find try and find things wrong with it. Yeah. That's another good strike there. It's all over it. So I got that one a little heavy, a little okay. touch heavy, but I really wow. got away with it. Almost flew the full distance. Yeah, that's nice to see. So above, anytime you see an iron struck above the equator, we can assume it was a shade heavy. Yep. Your ball speed was only down two miles an hour though, so that's certainly not bad. And you retained a ton of spin. Quite a lot of spin, yeah, actually. That's great. More spin, which is interesting. So you mentioned the leading edge has got a bit of wear on it, like your uh, Mira, mm -hmm. the pre-worn leading edge maybe helps you with a slightly um, fat shot, whereas something full sole might dig in there more and, and kind of lose those attributes. Really got away with that one. Um, that's great. Wasn't expecting that one. I thought that might be like a one, a 170, 168, kind of like front of the green, you know, we're left with a 10 foot yeah. putt. You might have felt like you'd be chipping and trying to get up and down for par there. Yeah. So the result of that seven iron altogether is, I think really, really good. It's a 180 yard seven iron. It comes to a really tight stop. Mm -hmm. Spins in a very tight window, even with a couple different strikes. They all launched almost exactly 19 and your ball speed was very tight also. It's awesome. It really is. Excellent. Nothing bad to say about it. How's that look as a four iron? I mean, most people get a little intimidated once they get down to a four. Is it giving you some confidence? Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not. There's there's nothing kind of really intimidating about it. Good. Um, the top line is is good, and actually the offset is, is is fairly minimal. So it's appropriate. It's just a lot of offset for the short irons. Yeah, I'd probably the only yeah I'd probably say now looking at the four, I just maybe would like the, the a little more progression. Um, so less as you get to the shortest irons. Yeah, yeah just, just being my preference. Um, that's some good feedback. I think most people would agree with that. Even looking, I'm just looking at there, the seven next to the wedge as I see them there. The seven's actually nicely proportioned as well. Mm. The wedge just has something that I personally don't like, which is a, a really high heel. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't love that at all. Yep. But no, it's, uh, it's, it's a good shape for it, really nice. is, Matty. Oh, it's looking good. We're one and done, I think. Eagle chance upcoming. Look at that. We're one and done. Perfect. It's launched at 16, over 4,000 spin. That's amazing, actually, to see. Yeah. Tons of ball speed. And that flew 118 feet in the air, came down at 48 and a half. Sounded good too. They're quite a good sound, don't they? It does. It sounds they solid. sound really. Uh, You're putting again. Pretty Ooh. good. So a slightly different strike. Slightly helia. I felt like it didn't quite hit that one just as flush. But minimal difference. So it launched a bit lower. It spun fractionally more. Uh -huh. You lost, I think, a mile of ball speed. But your carry was almost the same. And again. 109 feet in the air, so still very high, coming down at 47. I tell you what, they're, they're another really nice set. I remember hitting the 101 the first time and mm. really enjoying them. This is more of the same. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't be unhappy with, with these 
regardless of price point, to be honest. And at 589 for a four to pitching wedge set. Great value. You're not gonna be doing too much better elsewhere. So you can do a couple of customizations beyond. There's a bunch of KBS options. You can get into more KBS options. You can get into a couple of graphite options. Yeah. Upcharged, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you can change your Lampkin grip to a bigger size. It makes it a bit more expensive. But honestly, I would say 90% of people ordering are gonna get a 589 set, yeah. I would think. Unless you need a, uh, the lie angle adjustment isn't an upcharge, so yeah. you're probably going to be in that price point, which for his full set of irons is like two and a half times cheaper than most. Definitely. Something like that. It's good. It's really, really good. And we'll be curious. They did mention that the next version of this may be a little bit more of a player's look, maybe something coming with less offsets. Yeah. So it's been nice. I think we've started with kind of their, their big game improvement product. Yeah. This is getting a little bit more towards the middle of the market. And then maybe their next offering gets a little bit more to something that's you know spot on for your preference because i think you've liked them a little bit more each test definitely definitely yeah. um both of them are, are fantastic uh, there, there literally isn't a negative to them there, yeah. there's not i mean you know only thing is just being the uh probably the custom options for people who maybe fall into a certain maybe a 95 gram nippon or something right. like that or uh you know up a 130 gram dynamic gold if that's what you've played but you know they're they're going to get there with that it's a very small trade-off considering how good the value is definitely so uh, obviously good for, things good cost for more for a reason than when they have more options i think they've got good options and the price is really good and we'll yeah. get a lot more people into a custom set of irons than maybe before wouldn't have been able to do it love it love it okay guys let us know what you thought of the 201 model uh, if you haven't seen the 101 model review go back and watch that as well because it was i think quite significant uh, that how good those were as well yeah different target i think these are probably aimed at a slightly lower handicap Definitely. than the other models. The other model was maybe more of an 18 plus, and this one's probably more in the mid handicap range. Well, you mean hitting these as a scratch handicap or have, have no issue with them. Yeah, So you if could you want to them. use that as the base, you know, someone, a certain striking capability, you know, if you want a little help in the irons, uh, all the way up to probably a, a 15 handicapper yeah. who's, who's a decent, you know, decent uh, ball striker. So. Uh, I think that's a pretty wide range to cover with these. Pretty wide range, definitely. Yeah, they're forgiving enough, I would say, for a yeah. lot of different players, as long as you are, as you say, a decent iron striker and it's mm -hmm. a, a good part of your game. Yep. Great. Good stuff. Okay, well, let us know what you thought of these guys. And again, once those new models come in that are a little bit more player style, we will definitely be testing those on the channel because I think uh, a lot of us are very curious about how those will perform. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.